Welcome to our video about our project of mobile mapping of the environment, and displaying and interacting with it in virtual reality. Creating a map for easy use of mobile sensing data is key to extract information for a user. With our approach, we address the problem of removing reflection artifacts in the resulting map as well as adding procedures to allow faster processing of larger maps. For the mesh generation we are using a truncated signed distance function approach short TSDF, which we improved by also taking semantic information into account and adding a class-wise cleaning as a last step of the process. We then import the resulting mesh into the Unreal Engine 4, in which we are able to move freely and interact with the map in virtual reality. The point cloud is recorded with our system mounted on a Husky UGV. The sensors used are a Velodyne puck with 16 beams, a Hokuyo Profil laser scanner and a 360-degree fisheye camera. In the preprocessing step, the output of the camera, which is two fisheye distorted images, needs to be preprocessed for further use into one panoramic image. The panoramic image can be used to infer semantics with a CNN. For that, a MobileNet V2 model was trained from the Cityscapes dataset and the Mapillary dataset with 10 custom classes. With that CNN, every pixel in the panoramic image gets one label assigned, for example road, building or vehicle. The panoramic image, its semantic, the point cloud of the Velodyne LiDAR and the laser scan of the Hukuyu are used for cleaning dynamic objects in the point data. Then, this semantified point cloud may be used in the reflection cleaner module to get rid of reflections. The second step is the SLAM algorithm for which we use SUMA. Because we already know the semantics of each point we can filter points of classes which are typically moving like persons and cars. This allows us to navigate more precisely in a highly dynamic environment. In post-processing, scans are fused together with a TSDF on a voxel grid with a predefined voxel size. After all scans are fused small components get deleted by a connected component search and the mesh is generated with marching cubes. For bigger areas we divide the area in smaller boxes to address memory limitations due to the voxel approach. Here you can see a result of our approach in virtual reality. The visualization in virtual reality is done with Unreal Engine 4. In here we can import and set up the meshes to have the correct color, lightning and position. We also create bounding boxes for meshes of relevant classes, so the functionalities that we present in the following, can interact with the imported meshes. All in all we implemented four functionalities that can be used with the motion controller. The navigation allows the user to point at a position and direction on the floor to teleport to. The tape measure functionality allows you to place two ends of a tape measure either by shooting at an object or by placing it at the position of your fingertip. It will then show the respective distance. The label palette allows users to select all 10 labels for their respective meshes to be hidden or to be shown. Finally with the map selection it is possible to load a new instance of a virtual environment of meshes with different setups. We adapted our approach to work with a new sensor setup, which consists of a Auster OS-1 with 64 beams and a front-facing pinhole model camera. To do this we removed the unwrapper because we are already getting rectified images and implemented a new point-to-image projection. As a result of the setup changes, we have colored points only in front of the vehicle and therefore no color and semantics for parts of buildings which we only see on the side and on the back. To use only valid colors and semantics we only include the color of a point if it was seen by the camera but include the other points for geometry information. In comparison to the robot this setup provides a more smooth surface due to the higher spatial resolution of the sensor and the suspension of the car which lead to a less noisy pose estimation. Also the voxel size can be lowered but by changing this the higher speed of the car has to be considered. For our example we choose a voxel size of 10 centimeters. Thank you for watching.